recreation of the sighting we had the other day. And I'm trying to be quiet because Steve and I just walked up on a really cool predator kill. Steve, can you maybe just point this down here? We've got um, turkey feathers. We found two when we first came in and we followed a trail and came to this. We have a good many turkey feathers and I'm sorry, they're actually vulture, turkey vulture. And they move right up underneath of this tree and underneath of this tree is a large hole about yay big around. I looked at these. Typically with a uh, predator kill, you can tell what killed the thing by just looking at the shaft of the feather. Typically when you, it's a, a, like a bobcat or something, you'll see the little teeth marks, the, the front teeth of the cat where they'll get a hold of this, smash this down, and it'll shred this just a little bit. These, they don't have anything. This has not been touched. So whatever did this had either a soft mouth or hands. I'm not sure which. So what we're going to do right now, I'm going to take this stick, and shove it in this big ass hole, and see what killed this tur turkey vulture. And whatever it was, I hope it don't come after us. that all right so there's nothing in there, and um, as far as tracks go, I'm going to crawl on in here real quick and see if I can find any tracks that might identify whatever killed this turkey vulture. see any tracks in here man but this ground is is dead solid it's, it's hard this is evidently a dry season here in Florida so nothing's really holding much of a track but we're gonna continue to look around and see if we can figure out what made this predator kill and uh, continue to try to figure out what happened here so we're gonna go ahead and head on back to the the siding area and work on that right here in just a second so we just left the predator kill site and We've got like killer squirrels chasing us, but um, we keep hearing tree knocks, huh? Yes. Yeah, and they've been pretty persistent. Um, one pretty, that wasn't a tree knock, that was somebody off to our left. But um, they're, they're back in the woods and, and I, don't, I don't see anybody where it's coming from, but there definitely are a lot of people in the park. Um, but we're on an on a area of the park where people really just don't go. Um, we do have two people that either followed us out here or something, I don't know. But I don't see anybody else. So we're going to continue on looking for the uh, area that we po possibly saw Sasquatch. So uh, we continue on. Alright, so we just came back here into a really cool area. Um, tons, of, tons of animals cruising around here and uh, a bunch of broken limbs and stuff, you know, like it's really weird there's a whole big area around us with nothing broken and then we just walked into this area and there's a bunch of these broken palmettos I'm going to show you this one real quick um, this is a broken palmetto and there's a bunch of them I mean you can see all of them missing on this tree you can see how it's been pulled down here it's almost like a little hangout I mean you can see where something's kind of roughed it up underneath there you know and uh, we've got all these palmettos that have been broken off here I mean they're all broken and these things are not easy to break. So my buddy Stevie right here, he's going to demonstrate kind of strength these things have. Go ahead and bend her down, man. So he's bending this thing. And look at this. Look at this. It does not even break. It just doesn't. It just does not friggin' break. So 
Steve, what do you think could do this, man? Something very strong. Very strong, I'm yeah. pretty strong myself. <laughs> pretty rugged. But yeah, man, these things are so fibrous that they're really difficult to break. It would, it would take something either really strong or a tool of some kind, I would think, right? Man, this is like, it's like straight up 90 degrees, you know? Like, it, it's wrapped right around, and it's still not breaking. But, you know, you come here, you see that thing was sheared right off. It almost looks like, I don't know, you know, it, something just broke them off. But, we're going to keep keep pushing on and trying to find this, this site where um, we had the siding. And it's difficult. It's difficult because everything here looks the same. It's really thick, as you can tell. Like it's just crap everywhere. But uh, we're, we're going to do our best to find this thing. And if we don't find it tonight, we'll find it tomorrow. All right, let's keep on pushing. All right, so we're out here, and um, I wanted to I wanted to get a better idea of what it looks like here in Florida when sasquatch might be walking around in the woods I, I i'm i'm in a different environment right now i'm used to maine I, i'm used to a, a softer packed uh dirt this here is is just like hard as a brick so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to kind of demonstrate um how hard this ground is and how hard it is to actually find prints here so what i did is i kicked off my shoes and um uh, what i'm gonna do is just kind of run right around here and, we, and i'm gonna come back and you guys can take a look and see that it's just about impossible to see where I was. So I can imagine what it would be like for Bigfoot because it's like he's wearing freaking snowshoes on his feet. So probably ain't going to be able to find his tracks, but here we go. Up here. So, and that was kind of a gallop, you know, and I was trying to kick up leaves. And you go back through here. And it's almost impossible to pick up my toe kicks. And I was really trying to create toe kicks. So the problem that Steve and I are having right now is that we're finding signs that that really look like Bigfoot. We just found a bed that was, um, was on the ground. It looked like Bigfoot could have maybe like literally grabbed a bunch of debris, swept it up and created a pillow. And uh, what we did is, is we got down low, we looked across the thing, and you could literally see where something had laid down there, kind of on its side, and slept there. Right in the center of this thing was, was, a, was a dead plant that looked had been uh, urinated on. The reason I say that is uh, it was turning colors, and it also had mold on it. And we had the same identical plant about six feet away look mint so I'm pretty positive that something laid there and slept was a Bigfoot I don't know all right so um it looks like we found a print back here um man I always hate saying that I always hate saying that I've got a possible Bigfoot Bigfoot print but I legitimately just found a possible Bigfoot print would you mind filming filming oh I'm sorry guy I didn't realize you're oh yeah so we were trying to text Stacy and I just yeah, actually I'll just edit all that little shit out. Alright, so we just found this print and um, it's really interesting. You know, I know for a fact that it's not going to show up on camera. I even got the camera real low, tried to shine it across this print to try to bring up a little bit more shadow. But I'm going to try to use my finger real quick to outline what we have. We've got these two bills here trying to show some kind of size. I'll go ahead and show you the front and back uh, right here. Actually, about right here is about the beginning of that print. Right here, it looks like a really significant big toe. It looks like an actual toe kick right here. Right here, looks like the front of the foot, mid-tarsal break, and a definite heel print. I mean, that is no doubt a heel print. So we've got the, got it basically right here on the heel. So back on up a little. So you can kind of, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of keep tracing this and hopefully, hopefully you guys will be able to pick it up a little bit on that camera. So right here is this print. And uh, right now, we're going to go ahead and contact Stacy. We're going to get the uh, the dental stuff out here and 
probably try to make a copy of this. All right, so Stacy made it out here to the <laughs> to the area that we stumbled on. Dude, is that a print? That's the one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Hey, see, they they go in. Hey, they look. They're here. And then your stride has that one. It's wow. Right there. I can't even hardly. I mean, old boy was probably trucking it. No doubt in my mind, this thing was running. But you got a heel here, and you got your toes there. Can you kind of maybe outline it with your finger? Yeah, man. It comes a heel here. It comes all the way up. You've got a toe here. It's so. It, it looks like it's a uh, right foot to me, but me, I could be wrong. You me know, too. There's not that much detail to it, but you can tell it's the impression. And then up here, you know, and this is a pretty good, this one right here. Oh, wow. It's about yeah, the same the size. Oh, wow, time. dude. You know? I didn't even see that before. Yeah, and then I'm hold on there. now. Hold up. There was another one. It's, we're there. losing light, and I'm, I'm having a problem finding them right now, there? but they're literally... Yeah, man, we were out here when the sun was coming really low through here, and they were just popping up everywhere, dude. Up here? Yeah, I can't make it out. It's tough, Anyways, man. they're all over the place. Uh, so what do you think we should do? we had the sighting the other night. So, yeah. Or the possible, you know, I don't know if that what it was, but... This is kind of... going to plant tracks. I assume they'd be a little bit, look a little bit better than that. Yeah, yeah, I agree. You know what I mean? Yeah, and like I always say, man, if you find a print that looks dynamic, like it was... You know, something that was in motion, well, it probably wasn't faked. No, uh, you know, these are pretty cool. Yeah. And this is the back side of the lake, uh, on the back side of that field. Nobody comes out here, man. Uh, so, um, we came back here, we found this track. I went back and got Stacy. He got his uh, casting material, and we're, we're now making a cast of this thing. Um, it's a really awesome track for me. It shows a mid-tarsal break. It shows a heel pattern and a toe kick. I think those are the three things that are really most important when you're looking for tracks. And for me, you know, the toe kick is really important because it shows direction. 